Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about the macOS Sonoma 14.2 Release Canada 2 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Recently Apple released the macOS Sonoma 14.2 RC2 update for the beta users. To update your Mac to macOS Sonoma 14.2 RC2 update, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, and then check for updates. Here you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sonoma 14.2 RC2 update size is around 1.52 GB for my device. Scrolling down will give you a short brief about this update. Click on update now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.2 RC and the build number is 23C64. Now moving forward and talking about the changes and improvements made in this build. Firstly we have this update progress warning while updating to Sonoma 14.2 RC. This update introduces enhanced autofill for PDFs and improvements to messages and weather. This release also includes other features, bug fixes, and security updates for your Mac. For PDFs, Enhanced Autofill identifies fields in PDFs and other forms, enabling you to populate them with information such as names and addresses from your contacts. For messages, Catch Up Arrow lets you easily jump to your first unread message in a conversation by clicking the arrow visible in the top right corner. Add Sticker option in the Context menu lets you add a sticker directly to a bubble. Contact Key Verification provides automatic alerts and contact verification codes to help verify people facing extraordinary digital threats are messaging only with the people they intend. For weather, precipitation amounts help you stay on top of rain and snow conditions for a given day over the next 10 days. New widgets let you choose for next hour precipitation, daily forecast, sunrise and sunset times, and current conditions such as air quality, feels like, and wind speed. Wind map snapshot helps you quickly assess wind patterns and access the animated wind map overlay to prepare for forecasted wind conditions for the next 24 hours. For clock, multiple timers let you run several timers simultaneously and create a name for each timer. Timer presets help you quickly start a timer with a range of preset options. Recents makes it easy to restart your recently used timers. This update also includes the following new features. 
favorite songs playlist in Apple Music lets you quickly get back to the songs you mark as favorites. Use listening history in Apple Music can be disabled in focus, so the music you listen to does not appear in recently played or influence your recommendations. Shazam Music Recognition allows you to quickly identify songs playing online or around you, even when wearing AirPods. New keyboard layouts provide support for seven additional Sami languages. So, these were the changes and improvements made in this build. Now moving forward and talking about the macOS Sonoma 14.2 RC release notes. The macOS 14.2 RC SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers, running Sonoma 14.2 RC. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.1, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding iMessage contact key verification new features, with iMessage contact key verification, users can choose to further verify that they are messaging only with the people they intend. iMessage contact key verification uses key transparency to enable automatic verification that the iMessage key distribution service returns device keys that have been logged to a verifiable and auditable map. When a user enables the feature, they will be notified about any validation errors directly in the messages conversation transcript in Apple ID settings. For even higher security, iMessage contact key verification users can compare contact verification code in person, on FaceTime, or through another secure call. They can also choose to create or edit a contact and save a public key to turn on iMessage contact key verification with that person. All devices signed into your iCloud account must be on the minimum supported version of iOS 17.2 beta, macOS 14.2 beta, or watchOS 10.2 beta. If you wish to keep using other devices on older versions of the OS, you will need to sign out of iMessage on these devices in order to enable contact key verification. Regarding iMessage contact key verification resolved issues, fix. When verifying another user, contact verification code will not show unless both users are on beta 4 or higher. Fix. After verifying a contact, the verificate in checkmark might not show up in messages app. Fix. Users might see an error to turned off transcript every few hours. Fix. Users might see that they are not eligible to enable contact key verification on some of their upgraded devices. Regarding iMessage contact key verification known issues, the learn more links do not link to knowledge base articles during beta. Regarding messages resolved issues, fix. Unlocalized string shown for member count in the full screen map view of group messages might appear, e.g. detail number of people label. Regarding service management resolved issues, fix. Requirements for agents and demons registered with SM app service have changed to prevent sandbox escapes. The target executable must be sandboxed if the main app is sandboxed. A small sandboxed trampoline tool can be written to execute scripts and unsandboxed or system tools. Regarding StoreKit new features, new pricing properties price, currency, and currency code are now available on transaction. If an offer was applied to the transaction, a new property offer is available to see information about it, it, type, payment mode, as well as convenience properties offered, offer type, and offer payment mode. Regarding StoreKit resolved issues, fix. The StoreKit 2 transaction properties price, currency, and offer dot payment mode now have optional types. Fix. The StoreKit 2 transaction properties price, currency, and offer dot payment mode now have optional types. Fix an issue causing the refund request done button to not dismiss the sheet when using StarKit testing in Xcode. Fix an issue where StarKit 2 device verification was incorrect, which caused transaction verification to fail. Regarding Swift charts resolved issues, fix an issue where a scrollable chart did not respect the initial non-zero binding value passed to chart scroll position. The rest of the build seems identical to previous betas, so that was in hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.